This lesson will provide two examples on how to evaluate indefinite integrals using the method of u-substitution. Looking at the first integral, we'll notice how part of the integrand function is degree one and part is degree two. And we know when differentiating a polynomial, the degree drops by one, and therefore here we'll let u equal the exponent of negative four x squared. And if we're letting the exponent on e be equal to u, we should be able to recognize we will be applying the integration formula e to the power of u du equals e to the u plus c. And now let's determine differential u or du, where du is equal to the derivative of negative four x squared times dx, which is negative eight x dx. Now looking at the integral, we know we can substitute u for negative four x squared which is the exponent on base e, and we're left with three x dx, and notice our equation involves negative eight x dx. Because they don't match, we'll solve our equation for x dx by dividing both sides by negative eight. And we can just factor out the three. Simplifying, we have negative one eighth du equals x dx. And now we can substitute one eighth du for x dx. Bring this in terms of u, again we'll factor out the three. And then x dx is equal to negative one eighth du. We factor out the negative one eighth. We have du. And e to the power of negative four x squared is now e to the u. Simplifying we have negative three eighths times the integral of e to the u du, which is equal to negative three eighths times e to the u plus c. Writing this back in terms of x, we know u is equal to negative four x squared, giving us negative three eighths times e to the power of negative four x squared plus c as the antiderivative. And we often identify the antiderivatives using big F of x. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function of three x e to the power of negative four x squared. Looking at our second example, notice how the integrand function involves secant squared, and therefore we will be applying the integration formula for the integral of secant squared u du, which means u is equal to e to the power of three x. So if we let u equal e to the power of three x, we now need to find differential u or du which is equal to the derivative of e to the power of three x times dx. To differentiate e to the power of three x, we need to apply the chain rule. The derivative is e to the power of three x times three, or three e to the power of three x, and then we have times dx. Notice our integral has two e to the three x dx, not three e to the three x dx, and therefore we'll divide both sides by three to solve for e to the three x dx. Simplifying, we have one third du equals e to the power of three x times dx. So we can now substitute u for e to the three x here, and we can also substitute one third du for e to the three x dx, and we'll factor out the two. This gives us two times the integral, and then again, e to the power of three x times dx is one third du. We will factor out the one third, and we have du. And then secant squared of e to the power of three x is secant squared u. Simplifying, we have two thirds times the integral of secant squared u du, which is tangent u plus c, giving us two thirds times tangent u plus c where u is e to the power of three x. The antiderivative with respect to x is two thirds times the tangent of e to the power of three x plus c, which once again we will identify as big F of x. I hope you found this helpful.